record in this computer. Right, excellent. So, uh, welcome. And uh, the reason for the call, it wasn't scheduled, but um, I thought I would um, kind of interact with you guys as well. It'd be better if we, um, rather than me just kind of talking on the video, I guess I could ask some questions and uh, we can get some interaction going and also maybe talk about some other stuff if you wanted to. But um, the reason for the call is really because <clears throat> there is, you know, conflicting data, conflicting flows regarding the euro. And um, there's been kind of a build up to it. If you've been, you know, uh, watching the fundamentals and, um, uh, you know, and reading up, um, there's been kind of the news wires have been coming in and they've been talking about, you know, potential euro strength. But my position on uh, the euro was more of what well, I want to see the data, right? I want to see the data to confirm any kind of euro strength because, you know, there's rumors. Yep. We can, we can buy the rumor, but you still need to have the data to confirm that rumor. Otherwise it doesn't make any sense to just buy any and anything. Right. Um, but even though we haven't quite seen the data come through on the euro just yet, there are some, you know, like, for example, I think there's like PMI data and stuff like that. Um, but nothing to do with really kind of GDP, inflation or, or, or interest rates, which is really what I'm, and jobs is what I'm really kind of focused on. But um, even though we haven't seen that data just yet, it seems like the rumor is is really is really building um stronger and stronger for a higher euro dollar yeah and so yesterday there was um uh, there was um the uh, the speech i guess regarding um oh where is it now where did i put it or oh, did i click on it sorry but you, you know you know the the ecb basically had their um their speech um around and basically on monetary and policy guidance right i thought i i thought i had um clicked on it uh, eurozone obviously not sorry one second one second guys yeah so there was the ecb and it was basically a meeting to forget it wasn't really anything but um the the, the really the move higher um the the market and you know goldman sachs ing there's a lot of um banks that are thinking that the euro is going to go higher and there are some banks that think that you know the dollar obviously should gain strength which would make sense right because the dollar is ahead of the uh, of europe europe is lagging but the conflicting flows with regards to news flows, regards to you know uh, forecasts, etc because ing basically saying more more uh euro dollar upside to come uh there is uh nomura as well saying that uh flows begin to favor euro gains and there are reasons for that so hints of euro uh upside um and i think i was looking for this for the for the um uh, pound dollar article where it was talking about goldman sachs was talking about you know um long euro um as well so there is lots of uh it's in is it in the euro channel do, do, do you know what? i've been i was looking for it where is it where is it where is it and it's my i'm skimming but i'm um, i'm missing it so this was the nomura one um because you read it too right right ken you read it too yeah and I, I just for some reason i can't find it if you can find it type goldman yeah yeah that would make sense in it <laughs> goldman I, I tell other people to do this and then i don't do it myself um mm, mm, euro no it's not in there it's not in there because this is this is a while ago it was it was maybe it was maybe a well they're long-term bearish anyway um on on um on the dollar put it that way zach pandle but there was a there was a pound there was a there was a pound uh where is it now one second there was a pound sterling. Um, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Euro capitulation. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. 
yeah vaccine bets but there was um i think there yeah, was it was it was um a a pound sterling um article but anyways it says goldman sachs here revised this uh, three month forecast to one two five exactly so the information is there exactly um but i read it on um a pound sterling article anyways but brilliant thank you ken um so so this is basically you know the forecasts that are going ahead right euro dollar and it's 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 head scratching right because what we typically know about the fundamental analysis is that the dollar at the moment is, you know, really good. Yeah, we've got great job numbers. They, unemployment came out the other day and, you know, what I mean, it came out really good. GDP is growing, um, you know, inflation is, 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 is above target and stuff like that. So it's like, well, why would you not buy the dollar, right? Why are you not buying the dollar? And um, there seems to be this, um, I don't know whether I want to call it an agenda or there seems to be this theme of a weaker dollar, even in the face of what we typically know to be true about fundamental analysis. And I can't in good consciousness, knowing what I'm seeing and, 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 tr and basically look for or, or, or engage in confirmation bias where I'm ignoring the um, the things that I don't want to see and only look for things that I want to see. I have to be as neutral as possible. I have to be as neutral as possible. And I have to take in uh, the, the opinions that oppose mine, right? And whether I agree with them or not, um, you know, I have to kind of make up my mind. So with that being said, with that being said, I have to come back to this currency valuation cycle. And so what makes sense to me, and I've been thinking about this, is that We've got the dollar, which is on the currency appreciation cycle. Yeah, so it's really that end right there. But we also have a potential currency revaluation, right, for the euro. Yeah, so that's dollar and that's the euro. And I did explain, I think I went over this um, in Wednesday's call, but I think what's happening is, is that even though the dollar, you know, has been, has been strong recently, I think the news is being priced in. And I think with the euro, the, the, the theme is for the euro to play catch up. And if the euro starts to play catch up, but the news has already been priced in for the, the 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 dollar as far as all the good news and, and et cetera, et cetera, then what is the actual value of what should the value be of the uh, euro dollar exchange rate and all the, well the, I say all the banks but a lot of the um yeah and that's basically it the euro strength could push the dollar lower that's basically it yeah but we we still need to wait for the data to come in because that's not necessarily confirmed but this is the theme so the rumor is starting right here yeah the rumor is starting right here and once the data starts to come in yeah exactly and this is it so you don't want to short the dollar i'm not saying i'm not saying because the euro is going long that you should now short the dollar right i'm not saying that don't ever think that what i'm saying is is that is that for me Euro dollar is now not a trade that I'm 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 interested. I'm personally interested in. Yeah, I just I, I can't trade it because I'm just very unsure at the moment as to um uh you know the the strength of the move. And even though the target is one two five, yeah, we see one two five on the horizon. Um, there are easier trades, right? So what we don't want to do, we we want to trade convergences or divergences. So mainly divergences. Or if a strong currency is going to get weak and a weak currency is going to get strong, right? I don't really like using the term strong and weak and more. more uh, an appreciating currency is probably going to devalue and a devalued currency is more going to, you know, revalue, yeah, in, in, in price, right? So convergences and divergences. What we don't want to do, yeah, is look for something like this, which is basically what we're seeing here. Yeah. This is what we're seeing in the, the from February, from end of January. So let's say just say February, beginning of February, March, right, and April, and into you know the the beginnings of April. We had we had basically currency appreciation for the dollar, and we had devaluation for the euro. That's the trade. That was the trade, right? And hence the reason why you saw euro dollar basically selling off. 
until like the one, I think it was like the one seven, uh, one, one, seven, something like that, one, one, seven fifty area. Yeah, that's the reason why you saw that. Now what you're seeing is the rumor start to come in for the euro where you have the reflation or re, sorry, revaluation trade. Yeah. So when you get to something like this, even though on the uh, fundamental analysis spreadsheet, you might see two versus seven. Yeah. It's not just as simple as just saying, all right, buy strength, sell weakness, because we have to understand the currency value cycle. Yeah. The currency value cycle. So with that being said, um, I've, I've, I've changed my position. I'm still actually in, um, two short positions on the Euro. I'm not going to, I'm not going to exit them to be fair. I'm just going to, you know, let them, um, if either they stop me out or, you know, they go to my target, right. That's pretty much what, you know, uh, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it up to, uh, um, you know, the probabilities, uh, of whether, cause prices can still go down, right. I'm not saying that prices are going to go, you know, higher from here, Euro higher, right. Because even if prices do go higher to one, two, five from there, you'll get, you're going to get pullbacks, right. And there's, there's an opportunity to make money. I'm not saying that you should, but there's obviously, if you're in a short trade, you're looking for enough of a pullback within that trend for you to potentially make, you know, uh, some pips, even though the path of least resistance is to the upside, there is an opportunity or there are opportunities potentially to make some money in the pullbacks if you've got enough, you know, risk reward in there. Yeah. But the path of least resistance, it seems, it seems at the moment. And if the data starts supporting this, um, that the path of least resistance is to one, two, five, it's to the one, to five level. So if that's the case, yeah, and it's confusing, I always say this, if you're unsure about a certain currency pair, then just don't trade it. Yeah. And Ken says, uh, people are also saying Euro was strengthened by the end of the second quarter. So this is probably by the rumor. Exactly. It's the start of the buy the rumor, sell the facts. Yeah. It's the start of this, you know, the rumor starts around here. And then it's like, okay, that's the expectation. And we're right at the beginnings at the moment of the expectation of the euro. Now, all we need to see is the, is the data to confirm that rumor. That's exactly what happened in when at the end of January when we were looking at buying the dollar against the euro, right? The, the rumor was that the dollar should potentially strengthen. Yeah. And, but we saw the data to back it up. We saw GDP come in. We saw inflation start to rise. You know what I mean? So that we saw, you know, the bond market started to started to rise because it was looking at the, also the same data. Yeah. And then you started to see the euro dollar go down. But if the dollar, if the euro, sorry, has to be revalued because of potential, you know, revaluation and buying the rumor, then the ultimate goal is one, two, five. Now the question is, do you do you trade the euro dollar? Right? I can't. I can't tell you that. <laughs> I can't. I can't say. You know, one hundred percent whether you should or you shouldn't. All I can say is what I'm doing. Likelihood is is that um, there is um, you know uh, there is definitely some trades there. But the always the, the the question I'm always asking is 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 where's the easier trade? Where are the easy trades? And I'm going to talk about the easier trades in a sec. Um, so people are saying the euro was strengthened. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Sam says, yep, uh, read a lot of vaccine optimism. Yeah, there was, in fact, let me just um, delete this one second. Yeah, vaccine optimism. I saw there was a, uh, there was some vaccine optimism uh, data as well. Do, 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 do. I think I did post something. Uh, God. Yeah, here it was. So there was a bit of a um, vaccinations per week. US is the outperformer, but the euro area is accelerating, right? So the divergence between the um, the, uh, the the euro vaccine lagging and the dollar lagging or dollar leading is narrowing. So as it narrows, they have to reprice in now that that trade, right? Because the expectation for the vaccine um, and, and the rollout and being a successful rollout is what? Should be positive Euro GDP. 
everyone's getting back to work because the UK are already back to work, right? We've opened up, you know, we're seeing positive news, et cetera, et cetera. The same thing with the with the with the dollar. That the dollar is, you know, in the in the US economy, that's the same thing. So now the trade potentially is for euro strength because now the euro we we already made money or if, if you did on the pound if you made money on the dollar but now it's time to make some money on the euro and buying the euro on the expectation of positive numbers um so ken says that uh johnson johnson being passed in europe has started the push absolutely um and sam says in my experience of uh, trading how forward thinking is the market it's difficult to say it's, it's difficult you can't really quantify it um it's just you have to kind of have your finger on the pulse and you obviously have to have rules right because and there are there are certain turning points so um for example yesterday was i think up until yesterday i did say on wednesday i think it was i did say that you know what i need to see the data i need to see that and i've been saying that for the past you know couple of weeks I want to see the data. I want to see the data for the euro. But now it looks like with the vaccines, as as um, as uh, Ken has been saying, and we've all been kind of reading, is that the vaccines now being approved, Johnson and Johnson, the rollout, the data starting to look better. Yeah. Um, for me, it's now a case of stop. For, again, I'm going to stop trading the euro dollar because, again, like I said, it's just a bit too um, conflicting at the moment. But then, on the other hand, which leads me to my next question, um, which is uh, what are the currency pairs, right? What then are the currency pairs? And let me just go to um, the fundamental analysis spreadsheets. 